This is JSEX recording a demonstration of the Crusader Kings 2 Romans of the Three Kingdoms mod. And I'm playing as Liu Bei in the 184 AD Yellow Turbans campaign. Uh, first thing you want to notice is that the Yellow Turbans start out with a whole lot of armies. Uh, but you don't have to worry because these are generally 8,000 unit stacks with uh, raiders and they don't uh, unite as one as one unit because they all belong to different generals. Uh, the difference between that and the Han is that the Han army is able to raise a large amount of troops, not as many as the Yellow Turbans, but they are all able to unite as one huge army. And so that one huge army is able to smash through these individual units one by one. Now, if you're playing as the Yellow Turbans, the best strategy would, of course, then to be try to unite and uh, fight the enemy as one whole unit. But it's much harder to do because again, all those units are all those AI units don't like to fight together. Anyways, we're gonna start the game off. Now, a very important thing in this game is to be able to acquire territory. Uh, one of the methods you can do that without a castle's belly is to seize territory, but of course that will uh, take some uh, piety from you and it could uh, endanger you in the future by making lots of enemies. So I like to still try to make a claim for territory first. Now, because you can, you start off when you're Leo Bay. You start off at war as part of a, the war, so you can fight in the army. However, sometimes it's safer to just stay out of the action because you risk well death if you were caught up in a duel or in combat. You do have Guan Yu and Zhang Fei on your side, so they will you know fight with you. But just in case, it's always best to take care of yourself. In fact, let's make them our bodyguards so that if we do get caught in a battle and someone charges at us, our bodyguards will be able to protect us. All right, now we're out of the war. So now that this the first battle, the Yellow Turbans' attack on us has ended, we're able now to we're now able to launch a battle against them and try to seize their territory, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. Oh dang, I didn't realize you could call these allies. Might do that.
Da da, Guan Yu and Zhong Fei have entered the battle and are gonna kick some yellow turban tail. Oh yeah, Gong Sun's almost joined the war. Now we got this. We got this. Now this is the uh, version with all the add-ons, the unit models, the face portraits, and that's why they look Asian and not like uh, Europeans. And that's why the unit models don't look bad either. Oh, we're about to get into a huge battle. Let's see how it turns out. Oh, their general's crap. I got Zhang Fei and Guan Yu. What are you going to do? Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that, look at that. Look at that defense tactic. That shield wall like mother. They don't got nothing on this. They don't got nothing on this. Yes. And that's important. The importance of tactics and having generals that are able to function properly is very, very important. I'll release him up here. That guy with such a high intrigue might try to assassinate me later, so. Gotta keep him in prison for now. Dang, Liu Bei is working extra hard to get those children's. Oh no, the Rise of the Young Rebellion. This is an event that, uh, well, it's historical, first of all, but basically, uh, lords of Liang province, and it's kind of dynamic, so it's random, but uh, one of the lords uh, becomes the leader, and everyone else is given the option of to join or to fight them. And usually the Chong, the tribal peoples in the area, do join them. And of course, you have the particular people. Oh, that's sad. Hashun is legendary for having fought against the rebels, but... Yeah, can't always make it work exactly the way you want. Smash the rebels, good. Now we can make peace. Alright, so we've won our first battle, gained some territory. Um, I'm not going to show you all the different little things I'm going to do from here on, but I will show you... Uh, I'll just fast forward and just show you what happens with all the different events that take place. So the tax system, basically every year you're required to pay taxes. You need to pay the full amount, pay half or refuse. Sometimes they'll ask for tribute instead of tax. And sometimes when you pay tax, it gets stolen. Ah, ha, ha. It's unfortunate, but yeah.
Well, it looks like the young rebels are giving the Han a run for their money, which is historically accurate. Uh, at, during that time period, counselors and ministers actually debated whether they should give up on the, all of this area altogether and abandon it because it was such a great threat and they lost so many battles against them. They threatened Chang'an, uh, the western capital, many times, in fact. But basically the rebellion would fall apart by 189 uh, with the leaders fighting with each other for supremacy and then the three that would survive and come out of it were uh, Han Sui, Ma Tang, and uh, one other, Song Jian or somebody. The Han Dynasty basically placated them by giving them awards and honorary positions and everyone was just happy to, you know, let everyone else be. This is another system. Uh, imperial decrees from earlier, we won the imperial decree. Basically, those are they replace crusades, and exams are called whenever the emperor wants to uh, enlist um, scholars or gentlemen from around the country to take uh, office. And basically, for three months, they uh, he people send candidates, and then at the end of those three months, the emperor examines them and determines who should be part of the Imperial Secretariat, who should become a noble gentleman, if you will. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Now this is the first time I've had a game where the Han Empire actually stayed intact without rebelling. The first time. Usually some one or the other province will secede away, but it looks like all the original leaders have all passed away actually. Oh look at that, Liu Bao became governor of Yang. Well, I mean, unfortunately, what happens normally didn't happen this time. Normally, unfortunately, Donzo was taken prisoner in the Liang Provincial Rebellion. But what happens normally is that he will kill He Jin, and well, He Jin will be killed by the eunuchs. Donzo will kill, will help Yun Shao kill the eunuchs, and then Donzo will take power, and then you see a huge coalition form against him. But that didn't happen this time around. But I've given you some brief uh, example of the game. I'll talk to you a little bit more about what, what we have. We have religion systems throughout the empire and various cultures represented throughout the empire. And these are based on uh, historical readings I've read uh, both in Chinese and in English. Uh, if anyone has any questions about these, you can go ahead and 
comment or message me. But yeah, this is Crusader Kings Romans of the Three Kingdoms mod. Please uh, enjoy the mod and uh, you know give feedback if you positive, negative. Just let me know how you feel about it. Thank you very much for watching. This is JSEX signing out.